Today, we're gonna to be talking about the number one most inflammatory food in the world. This is the number one most inflammatory food in the world because I think gram for gram, it causes the most widespread inflammation throughout the entire body. Now, in the diet world, there's some confusion of what actually causes inflammation. On one end of the spectrum, you have vegans who tell you that the root cause of inflammation is and boils down to overconsumption of red meat. And then sort of on the other end of that spectrum, you have individuals adhering to the carnivore diet that believe that too much fiber and plants such as vegetables and even some fruit are the major driving factor for chronic inflammation in the body. So with all of these competing diets, what actually causes inflammation and, and what doesn't. Talking about disease in general, especially a lot of autoimmune diseases, these begin in the gut and certainly a lot of people have specific allergies to things like tree nuts, milk, and gluten. When talking about digestion as a whole, referring back to these autoimmune diseases, there are two main things that we consume on a regular basis that human beings actually can't break down at all on their own. These are fiber as well as gluten. So what actually breaks these two substances down? Well, it's the gut microbiome or the bacteria, the good bacteria that align the gut that helps us break down things like fiber and gluten. If your gut bacteria are out of whack or not in the right portions, this can cause a widespread chronic inflammation that starts in the gut and then spreads outward throughout the rest of the body. It can also lead to specific medical conditions like small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, also known as SIBO. This is one of the reasons why diseases that are chronic, especially ones that cause a lot of inflammation, can largely go undiagnosed for a long period of time. This is why it is imperative to not only take care of yourself, but to make sure your own gut microbiome are flourishing and are in the right portions in general. So how does this all relate back to the most inflammatory food in the world? Well, consuming this food over and over and over again can lead to a whole slew of problems, some of which I just talked about. The number one most inflammatory food in the world is actually a combination of foods, but it's essentially ultra processed foods. They're foods with mixed ingredients, but the general recipe or the skeleton recipe, if you will, has to do with added sugar, enriched flour, seed oils, and glyphosate. Now I have separate videos on these topics and I am continually putting out more of these videos in the future, but one of these ingredients that you may not be familiar with that I listed is the glyphosate. Glyphosate is a very common pesticide that's used throughout the entire agricultural industry. It acts essentially as an antibiotic to kill some of the bacteria and other critters that would otherwise destroy crops that are then fed to a lot of the meat and animal products that we eat and consume here in the United States. So not only are we eating traces of glyphosate in the actual plant products, such as fruits and vegetables, but we may be consuming glyphosate in our livestock that we eat, such as chicken and beef. Now, if you wanna know more of the specifics about the ideal human diet or the best way that I think us as human beings can eat in order to thrive optimally, I definitely recommend checking out this video here for more information.